play. And uh, I think we'll maybe learn uh, 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 a few different ways to play it, even still on today's stream. Yeah. Yeah, I know when uh, we revealed Kane's Sun Fury through the Rachi video, uh, everybody was pretty surprised to see Charge see a return here, uh, especially with some of the other stuff that we talked about, which we'll get into here shortly with Hall of Fame. But uh, yeah, Crypt, did you have any thoughts on that card in particular? Uh, that card is terrifying. Uh, managed to, to try it a little bit, and it's one of those things where um, you do a double take. It's like, oh yeah, it has charge, it ignores taunt, okay. But then you play it, and everything ignores taunt. All of the other minions you control, your hero, you're playing Demon Hunter, so you have weapons, you have, he you have at least a hero power attack plus one. It's one of those things where everyone is going to get savagely beaten at least once before they realize how the card works in full. Hey. Well, there you have it. From Fun, okay, no. uh, now, real quick, before we dive into these 40 card reveals in the gameplay, Dean, Crip, and Chalky, who's also hanging out with us, is uh, they're going to take it away here in a second. But I wanted to talk through what it means for a new year for those at home who may not know what that typically means. Now, with a new year, uh, we have sets that rotate out of standard and rotate into wild. And with this year, we have Witchwood, the Boomsday Project, and Rastakhan's Rumble rotating out of standard into wild now typically with that we also have cards that go into what we call the hall of fame uh now with the hall of fame we do have a bunch of stuff so we've got some fan favorites from the hall of fame that are going to be going away uh we've got leroy jenkins and mountain giant that are going to be going into the hall of fame uh we've got maybe a little bit more of a controversial minion in mind control tech that's going to be going away and then acolyte of pain and uh spellbreaker uh, now, we also are going to have a Priest rework that's going to be launching. Uh, we're not going to talk too much about that today for time's sake, uh, but if you did want to find out more details, you can actually go to the playhearthstone.com website and find out more. Uh, now, I bet you at all at home are probably wondering, when does all this stuff come out? So dates are pretty important, so we should probably talk about dates. Uh, so as you can tell on the screen, uh, March 26th, which is tomorrow, uh, we actually have the Hall of Fame and the Priest rework, and also, which is not listed here, Duplicate Protection launching tomorrow. So lots of big stuff coming tomorrow. Uh, April 1st is our revamp of our ranked system. Uh, again, we haven't talked much about that, but if you want to find out more details, you can check that on our website. But that is going to be coming in with the new season uh, in the game. And then on April 2nd, we have our Demon Hunter Prologue that's going to be launching. Uh, that is actually a backstory into Illidan and how he became a Demon Hunter. Uh, there are four story-driven single-player missions that allow you to unlock Demon Hunter. And then on April 7th, that's when Ashes of Outland goes live along with Demon Hunter. So that's a barrage of stuff that I just gave you uh, a lot to unpack. So again, the, the date slide that you can see is going to be pretty crucial. So definitely keep an eye on all that stuff. Uh, but again, we're here to talk about brand new cards and the card reveals. So... Uh, Let's go ahead and kick it off to, you know, Dean, Crip, and Chalky, because we got 40 cards to unveil. Uh, I'm going to give it off to them. So, uh, gentlemen, hope you have some fun with the gameplay, and uh, I'll see you all real soon. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, so um, one thing that Chris didn't really emphasize as much as I think people really understand from a new launch, a new year, the fact that we cycle out of standard three expansions from the past it's it's a massive change in how people play the game in rank mode people are used to playing with you know specific decks and then a new expansion in the middle of the year comes out you know a few of the decks change there's a few new deck archetypes but the first expansion of every year knocking out three of the oldest expansion from standard it's like one or two decks survive that and the ones that kind of make it maybe are substantially different and there's usually a lot of new decks and a lot of innovation that happens throughout this period. So um, it's quite a time to play Hearthstone and uh, it's it's where the hype is at its peak and everyone's looking forward to it. So uh, let's get started here and see what people might be playing in the coming months. Yeah, I think for the first expansion of the new year when set rotation is going on, it's actually the most challenging expansion for us to do balance testing on. Because for the second and third expansions, we have some idea of what people are playing from the first expansion and the second expansion. So we have a, we have a general idea of the meta and then how these new cards are going to impact the decks that people are already playing. And when set rotation happens, like you were saying, it's kind of a new world. So we don't really understand exactly like what are the decks that are really powerful and popular. Because right now, basically all the really powerful and popular decks are losing at least like some piece. It might be limited pieces, but in some cases, those pieces are you know, the linchpin of the entire deck. 
So doing playtesting is really difficult for us to get it exactly right. And then you throw a new class on top of that. And uh, my expectation is that players are going to find some pretty crazy stuff. And we'll, we'll see what we do as a result of that. What is uh, the, kind of your expectation of the new class? Like how, how many different archetypes do you think will be like pursued at least? I think it depends on what you consider an archetype is. Cause I think yeah. that there's going to be different variations of like the aggro sort of style of deck. Uh, I think like Hunter is a pretty good example of they have Highlander decks and they have a super face Hunter deck. And then they have like Dragon Hunter, which is kind of like a mid rangey sort of thing. But I think to most people like Face Hunter and Dragon Hunter are all pretty similar. Whereas mm -hmm. Demon Hunter is going to have some very aggressive decks where they're going to be attacking your face a lot. And then they're going to have decks that are you know, really token focused. This, right, well, like this our, game has started up here. We're, we're yeah, playing we're, Warrior. We're, we're in it. Warrior versus Mage. And oh, oh, hold on! I know how to do this. Is this is this the right play? Damn, CJ. There you go. Jakby co, to nie straciłem ten głosu? To nie chciałem przeszkadzać, jak coś tam gadają. So, um, uh, Chucky's playing a mage deck with no minions. We saw a number of these cards uh, revealed already. Look at that, reduce the cost of spells in your deck by one. So presumably that's all of the cards. Yes, that is all the cards. Presumably that is all of the cards, yeah. <laughs> Um, and we're playing certainly a minion heavy deck. To jest to jest to jest to play reactively with spells, we just want to kind of just throw stuff out there. And probably the stuff we want to throw out there is, is the, the bigger stuff. So we're going to play the overconfident orc, which is a what three cost, three six taunt until it gets damaged. And then it's a one six. But a one six taunt for a three is pretty good. We've seen Druid yeah, run that stat line in the past. It's a pretty good turn to play it. Like right this now, is mega to jest Star Creeper wersja 2.0 ulepszona. Nieźle. We have the uh, the Bone Chewer Raider. If he does damage it, we can kind of counter the board pretty nicely. We discovered a Magic Dart Frog. That, I imagine that's a pretty powerful card here. When you have a deck full of spells. No, you stretch your other. But here, yeah, the Bone Chewer Raider is probably going to be a pretty good play. Easy. So if there is a damage minion, we get plus one, plus one, and rush. Yeah, overconfident orc and bone cheer minion are. Spoko, that's just about it. Right? There seems to be a bit of an upgrade. So this is a neutral card. The overconfident yeah, orc is playable well. by any class, and yeah. we have like the more overconfident orc, the rusted raider. It's five for a one eight, but it is temporarily a five eight, and it has rush. So the fact that it has rush, you get that huge attack. Um, it resembles some of the warrior options for kind of like yeah. board stabilization removal that we've seen. Um, we'll see how it works here. Now, in terms of secrets, I don't know all the cards in this uh, expansion quite yet. I don't actually, I literally don't know what to play around right now. I guess, I guess <laughs> most of the cards are yeah. new ones for this turn. Um, yeah. Rusty Raider is actually sort of interesting. It's it's a lot. It's, it's pretty similar to Militia Commander, a card that you know warriors played from time to time. Came from the the Witchwood, but uh, Rusty Raider also has taunt. So in addition to you know a lot of the things that go with like so? uh, you want Whenever minion damage, damage you want game plus to attack. Oh, okay. A lot of times you want taunt minions too because you have ways to buff them in your hand. Mm -hmm. So Flame Ward, after your uh, minion attacks here at deal three damage to all the minions, that's a new card, right? Otherwise, I would have played around that like a professional Hearthstone player. Right, <laughs> yeah, you would have played around. <laughs> There's all a lot right. of new cards here. I'll give you. I'll give you a break. Yeah, you okay. have to read have all the a, cards. A you can't play. Perfect. Bone Chewer Vanguard, another neutral, another taunt, seven for a four ten, and when wow. this takes damage, get plus two attack. It's not bad, right? Like that's like a. Uh, uh, there's a lot of cards like this in Hearthstone. Like, you know, back in the day, people would play Ancient of War, it's 5 10 taunt. This is probably better than that on average. Not, not a lot of people play Ancient no. War anymore, but this, this is quite a bit more powerful than that. that I would say. Yeah, but I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to
Nie wyjdzie więcej kart. Jak wyjdzie na tak, to wyjdą wszystkie karty. To... No. Nie, nie, nie. Znaczy, odpowiedź na twoje pytanie brzmi chyba otwieraj, albo ja nie wiem o co pytasz. Ale nie wyjdzie więcej kart do tego dodatku niż te, które wyjdą w momencie wyjścia tego dodatku. Wydaje mi się, że te karty z tego dodatku wyszły szybciej niż przy innych dodatkach. Znaczy, jeszcze żadna nie wyszła, dopiero wszystkie wyjdą w jednym momencie, więc standardowo, ale szybciej je pokazali chyba. Tak mi się wydaje przynajmniej. Two water metal. So this this card cost eight, I guess, and he yes. discounted it by by one. Correct. Okay, that's pretty powerful. Yeah, he used to freeze everything, and that was that was a little bit too powerful. We nerfed that one pretty early on. Mm hmm. The mage already has like a bunch of ways to freeze, and freeze is like a critical mass thing. So once you get enough freeze, you just get spawn up and another one. Deal to the match, the minion gain to armor. Four damage there. Okay. Yeah, we're using it to our advantage now. Let's use this temporary attack. Let's keep the taunts active because perhaps we have some way to Font of power. Sure. Discover Probably a mage not, minion. Know, if your deck has no yeah, minions, keep all free. Spoko. Za dwa many. In caster's flow. Man, I kind of want to the cost of spell in your deck by one. That is entirely spells. You're like almost all the secrets, and you have no information. Aha, the fighter. Hey, to whom I'm going to be using the spell, spell mage. A fighter, for the most part. Not entirely sure what to play against here. Maybe I'll just play the bone chewer vanguard. Whenever this minion takes damage, gain plus two attack. Ten, four on ten. Tam siedem many. Okay. Okay, we're good. Aha, czyli oni tutaj pokazują ten o, cały, te, ten Rasen Legion cały. Mag na samych spelach, no nie wiem. Czy wydaje mi się, że to będzie mieć bardzo duże problemy z znalezieniem opcji na wygranie gry? A może się fajnie tym grać. We're playing the deck with minions against the deck of all spells, and the first random interaction gives us the Moarg Artificer. Moarg Artificer is a new card. We're pretty effectively showing it off, I would say. <laughs> Draw a uh, weapon, give it okay. plus one, plus uh, one. Well, let's hope we have Course more weapons. Cash, new card. Yeah. Um, to jest nawet zbalansowane. Like, if, if I play the two more and you guys any kind of board clear, it becomes a problem, right? So I think I actually just want to draw a weapon. Oh. Bulwark of Azimuth. Like, wait, we, we saw that one a little bit earlier in the... After you, opponent cast a spell summon a random four cost minion. Do we want to kill the turtle? I think no. maybe not. Maybe we just Who's use that? the weapons to our advantage. Yeah, Mage doesn't have a lot of ways to heal, so we can get through at some point. A Bulwark is... Uh, it's usually used for defense, but we we might be smashing him in the face with it. I don't know what you're talking about. What I see here is is a pyroblast. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's not about taking damage. Like it's it's too exciting. <laughs> pyroblast, yeah, bitch is, dude. It's good and bad versus mage. Wow. Oh my gosh. The standard that he grabbed was because of the fact that he had a bone that took his own hand. Actually, I don't know. Gain armor equal to this minion attack on the death rattle. It's a taunt and it's a mech, but the fact that it's a mech is not that relevant in the standard meta because Boomsday is rotating out, which is where yeah. the core, at least defensive side of warrior mechs reside. Yeah, a lot of the mech build around stuff has gone away from Boomsday, but mechs are something that we bring around from time to time, so I can definitely see mechs coming back and mech being relevant again at some point. Let's see how this works here. Okay. I'm gonna get a lackey. Discover a dragon. Mm. Okay, and I guess I'll attack face. No, there's been, already been two flame wards. I don't think he can create one, can he? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think he's played anything to create one yet. Okay. Draw last. Ah, uh, no new dragons. Okay, I guess we'll settle for Anixia. She's not we'll settle. Our Moarg Artificer is gone now, so the... Whoa. Yeah, we don't we don't have to you, dread you taking double survive. spell damage here. That, that's a really good thing. Yeah. 
So what are you looking forward to most this expansion? Are you going to be playing a bunch of Demon Hunter, or are you going to be trying some of the other stuff first? I feel like Demon Hunter has these kind of established archetypes, but I think the fun for me is going to come from trying to figure out what's in between them. So it's clear that there is like an aggro Demon Hunter. It's clear oh, that there no, is like an, an aggressive but more hybridized Demon Hunter that plays aggro but wins off of value from minions dying. And then there's like the classic like mid-range demon, demon Hunter. And then there is like the very, very big Demon Hunter. For me, the fun is probably going to come from trying to bridge one or two or maybe even three of those archetypes together. I don't know, just kind of like the hipster decks. I feel like for every 10 of those you try, one of them ends up being a very good deck. Uh, that's Evocation. Yep. Evocation is a pretty good card. Seven. People have been talking a lot about Evocation. I imagine it is. Something you know, I mean, we saw that because of Zero Madi. There, so he was kind of Pięć card, yes. Swab. Running a deck with entirely, wow. If you're running a deck with entirely spells, if you're not particularly lucky off of the minion generators that you have, you will need some extra juice like this. Yeah, a lot of times the, the decks that are all spells, uh, the spells that are the most important that make the deck work are the spells that can generate minions. That's true in Hunter as well. Mm -hmm. So that is an evocation secret. We might have to play around the uh, big AoE once again. This is Bladestorm. Hello. Hello. Bladestorm is a pretty interesting AoE. I can see Warriors playing a lot of this in the next coming couple of years. Uh, it, it plays a little bit like Defile. It's like uh, it's an AoE that can potentially get a ton, a ton of value, but you have to play it directly. Thank God that Krivma go do Okay. Try to play around a few secrets there. I don't know if I did well. Okay, so... You can play around... So? Yeah, he does. So? Plus one? Okay, so let's do that to play around Mirror Entity. Okay, we got the we got the Entity. So that's good. So to be plus one less for each damaged minion. Oh, I should have probably killed that first. Because I don't know if there's like on death triggers. Is that cost you? Okay, whatever. We're Basically, okay. I was We're thinking okay. that that might be another uh, flame AoE. So if I get both of those to three and I get hit with it, I can then clear both of his guys with blood. Moja strona pokazałaś mi, kurde, czemu to strona się nie odświeża, to czemu tu kar nie dodają. It's tough to play around secrets when you don't know all of the cards from the coming expansion. Let alone evocation secrets. Alright, deep freeze again. To jest dobre chyba. To ciężko to dodać w życiu, ale dobre jest ogólnie. Like I think when you just start a person for the first time with no no cards, that is just about the best of them. <laughs> yeah. Is the, the just logged in for the first time best card in the game. I'm guessing that whatever he has is probably a spell based trigger effect. Yeah, because there we could have just played Bladestorm and killed both of his guys. So you think. Well, hey, on tak na serio nie, 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 nie wie, że tego Blastorma jeszcze nikt nie pokazał yeah, chyba, tak mi się wydaje? No Staszku, poka no tego Blastorma, bo nie wiem czy jestem ślepy, a to kosztuje 7. Aha, to to, okay. Okay, let's think. Czekaj, to kosztuje 7 ma... So, what I can do is... That, and then Blades... Deal one damage one. to all... And then basically use two charges to kill it. Bulwark of Azanoth. Okay. Might be a bit of 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 a
Shut the fuck. Yeah, I want to play this out because I I don't want him to like copy it or anything like that. I don't I don't I don't want to deal with his low card deck getting additional Cargath Blade Fist Cargath Primes. Yeah, I wonder like uh, if you have a deck full of spells, like does Polymorph make the cut into your deck at that point because you're you're getting pretty mm -hmm. low on all your options. Oh, there you go. That's the second font of power. Uh, unless he's capable of generating further font of powers, this might be the last push for minions on the board. Manworms not. These are not the minions that he probably wanted. No, to get off of that. no, they're not. Also, not the best. Six cards left. That's fine. We're we're good with that. Yeah, our, our stuff is just too big at this point. No secret. That's that's rough. He's running out of stuff. I think maybe this is not the best matchup for our mage friend, considering mm. limited limited amount of uh, power output in that deck. It seems like he even had an, an Antonitis as well, which is like pretty high damage. RNG output, Antonitis but... and RNG. Our stuff takes double damage. Zależy od tego ile HP mają miniony, bo jak masz stu z samymi minionami osiem HP, to wszystkie padną. Way luckier than that. No, w sumie to w każdej grze zdarza się taki, to taki stół, że masz 5 stoników, 8-8, nie? Wiemy to z doświadczenia, że zazwyczaj tak to właśnie wygląda. To, by, to wygląda jak MKR byłby sędzią, bo ja jestem sędzią, nadzoruję. Ta kamera taka ciemna. So it's a 7-7 taunt, and when it dies, we get a 7-7 taunt. That is correct. So it is a 14-14 taunt. Seems pretty good. Unless he is in fact running polymorph. Yeah, I think he would have polymorph. Yeah, no, it's just that there's a number of threes. A lot of Pexes. Usemko, I think, HP for Alex Trazie. It's probably one of the cards that makes the deck work. Zgadzam się. Okay, so we're going to get through them. Able to get through it. And the Armageddon doesn't do too favorably against that, but it does buy us a turn at least. Oh. Żarty z Artami, ale chyba grał Max, co grał mu ten Giant i rozwalał go spelem i robił dwa. Dokładnie tak, tylko co z tego. Jeżeli chcesz powiedzieć, że karta jest dobra, bo grał jakiś jeden deck, you kind of have to wonder. Might actually do just fine. No to fajnie. Pretty good, but it's honestly like the. I don't even know how much it's supposed to take to roll. Big. Okay, so he's able to get through it again. That was a lot of resources to get through our one card, but. Tak patrzę na tego maga, to wydaje mi się, że to jest antygrywalne. All right, here we go. Not great. Eleven cost to vote on the spell. I wonder if he's just played both anyway. Blade Storm. Sure. I think that's how we actually just get back onto the board. Albo quest shaman, który przesuwa się cztery razy osiem osiem. Yeah, because if he doesn't draw anything here, then our our minion is still pretty awkward for him to get through. So the good news of this match is, I believe the likelihood that we go through every single card of both decks is relatively high, so we won't have to spend time in between this game and the next to see what's actually in the deck. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that that makes that makes it even easier. Oh. Okay, That's not, so the, not quite as good in this situation. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna save it. I think I think it's better if I don't play it this turn. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think it's better if you save it. <laughs> we have Cargath Prime in here somewhere, so... I mean, he has mostly reactive cards and a 4-1 with one card left in his deck. I think we have enough... Actually, can he even do anything with that? Oh, well, if he keeps discovering seven more of those, he can. Yeah, oh, this could be Entity. I guess if it was entity, we would just trade straight in with our card gaps when we drew it, and it'd be okay. Okay, it's gonna be okay. Yes. Uh, that's that was a pretty great card to draw in a situation like this. Conjured Mirage. Probably not Conjured Mirage. Probably it's gotta be the safeguard. It's gotta be the safeguard in this situation. Nie no, Mirage. Przecież jak weźmie Mirage, to wygra to. I guess Conjured. Oh, how did he get you around? Because if he can't deal with it, then he decides to fatigue no matter what. 
That would have been true if I'd safeguard or whatever, anyway. There you go. Nothing left. Alright, so... Uh... Just keep playing that forever. See, he's done! We yeah. just sealed the deal with Conjured Mirage. That's a world first. W jednej kompie w jakiejś kontroli może grać, zawsze można użyć, żeby zabić jedną dużą jednostkę. Żeby nie było, ja nie uważam, że ten Blade Storm jest zniegrywalny. Uważam, że jest po prostu słaby, ale tak jak piszesz, można to faktycznie grać, nie? Nawet można to grać w, dwu, w dwóch kopiach, ale to do Defile'a nawet nie ma podejścia. Bo jeżeli ty masz... Jeżeli przeciwnik ma na stole coś dużego i coś małego, to ty zabijasz to małego i ten Blade Storm się kończy, nie? No ta karta jest beznadziejna. A to, że... A to, że raz na trzy triliardy sytuacji ktoś będzie miał akurat sytuację pod to, no to to nie jest zbyt dobry argument. Oh. No niezłe. Też niezłe. Widzieliśmy. I kind of want to keep all of this and just be hopeful that we get a dragon. I think it's not super unreasonable. We're gonna have the coin, so we don't like have anything to do really on turn. Czemu nie grają studia jak w Descent of Dragons? Because we can coin up the other two, but the homunculus won't be awake yet. Well, we'll see. Coś słyszałem ostatnio o jakichś wirusach panujących tu i ówdzie. To może dlatego. Plays nothing. We just we just dunk an overseer. Yeah. Można kupić jeszcze Sylvana? Nie wiem, nie mam pojęcia. Chyba nie, chyba ją wycofali, coś tam. Nie interesowałem się, byłem się tym za bardzo. Turn at the start of the turn, but we won't be able to attack with it right away. I believe it still has to follow the um, the the slowness, the sleep. Yeah, one mana T5 is pretty good. It's good with uh, just buff cards in general too, because even though you're not going to be able to attack with it for quite some time, you can guarantee that you have you know something alive on your turn, which is pretty nice. Hey, it's bugged out. She didn't show the card. Three three copy. Interesting. This is pretty good. Oh, right. I just said that. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I, you meant to pre-buff that, right? Like yes. Yeah, of course, of course. I think it's fine. I mean, yeah, what okay. removal options do hunters have anyway, right? Uh, I mean, they have they have deadly shot, but deadly shot's not that great here. They have scrap shot. Deal three damage. Give a random beast in your hand plus three plus three. All this beast buffing is going to work out just fine when we slam an Aeon Reaver on it. Yeah, there's Psych Split, so we can get another copy of that guy. But I think that now we want we want to buff something like crazy, and then we want to Psych Split it. Yep, that's the idea. So if if anything lives for any amount of time, we're going to like get something pretty huge on board. Like that. That is huge. Oh. Oh. That's scary. Um. Okay. Okay, because we'll be able to kill it. So, if I coin the Aeon Reaver to kill that, what's the likelihood that this one exactly dies? It needs to get hit four times with three targets. Because I want this to ideally absorb some hits and then trade there to heal me back up, right? I'm feeling lucky. Let's go. I don't know how this is going to work. Yeah, it's pretty unlikely. That was a lot of risk to save a little health. There's a lot of health. What do you mean? We'd have like almost nothing on the board. We hit twice and knock at the life steal after. It's like ten health. There's no cover a spell. Ooh, that's good. It's good actually. Oh, nova carta granav kasubreku. That plays off as like casting spells, especially like in the future as well. For something that we like to do for priests is after you after you cast a spell, you know you get a bonus 
or after you cast like Będzie ten po zjeden plus jeden taki nawet zbalansowany a teraz patrzymy na karty w Hearthstone czy są zbalansowane a jak nie są i są grywalne bo są OP to wtedy się zastanawiamy jak bardzo nie? That's that's the idea anyway. We'll have to see how this theory plays out. Of the new cards that you've seen so far, which were which which are the ones that are, you're excited about? The Demon Hunter ones. The Demon Hunter. Most, of, the, most yeah. of them, in fact. Yeah. I feel like the Demon Hunter gets. Ty za bojem gar o wiele ciekawiej przedstawi te karty gameplay. Star, ja to bym tam rozpierd zrobił. Chłop. Turns, but their turns you have to plan for two turns in advance, and that's just a really cool mechanic to me. Yeah. I think just in general, like if you're playing something that's like very, very heavily aggressive, it's that same thing to take a couple turns off. That's not that's not exactly what aggressive decks want to do. But there's like there's a huge power spike you get for it, like you said. So it's kind of a trade off. I wonder if I should kill that or the high main. I'm not sure. Kind of want to go for the high main. Yeah, if you kill. The other thing that I mean just trades in like oh, basically inner fire. Okay. Uh just inner fire means that I put some It's probably still breath. Breath is pretty good here. Yeah. I'm gonna play this just to get ready for uh what I'll need to take care of his big beasts relatively soon. Uh Hunter's just getting so many cards. Typically you, you face a game against a hunter like this, but they're they're usually out of stuff around now. Uh this hunter deck's still going. Oh man. That's a big yeah. boy. Really any oh that's that's also very large. Basically any time that you have Aha, to jest za jeden! Za dwa. Hunter right now is gonna be a part of it. Za jeden, dwa jeden, daj bestie plus jeden plus jeden. Okay. Hall of Fame session. It, it, it could be. I mean, Tundraina is always a card that uh, you know, it does some interesting stuff and creates some decks that you know really wouldn't otherwise exist. But at the same time, uh, it can be pretty dangerous when you have cards that give all your other cards charge. Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> like, uh, like with Kane, you're, you're ignoring some taunt, but it's not giving all your demons charge. You know, where it's like we're gonna make beasts. We always want to make beasts. To 4-3 nie uh, jest rozdrobi raz taka, no? Nie wiem o czym mowa. Znaczy, wiem, że pojadam jedną z K4-3, a nie patrzyłem, co to było. I'm not sure what we're getting besides Wrecked. We are getting pretty Wrecked. Is this how you envision Priest playing in the upcoming expansion? Uh, I think that Priest has, a, Priest has a bunch of different options. I think some of like the, the spell flurry stuff where you're just playing a whole bunch of spells is going to be pretty powerful. Or, your, or the Imprisoned Monculus is actually pretty good. But, uh, oh, it's very good, that's for sure. We, we had, we had a rough time. But, uh, Although, yeah. Oh! Slim. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, Okay, okay, I, I, had, I had a debate on this uh, with my chat the other day. Do the does the initial attack of those kind of count towards the attack of the turn? Like, can they attack a second time with Rhino in play? Like, I kind of wish we we wouldn't have died there to find out. Uh, they cannot because their their attack has been taken up. For I see, I see. Okay. All right. Well, we didn't get to see too much of those decks. That was a pretty fast zoo matchup. So maybe we uh, we can have a look and see. Uh, what we've missed from either one of those decks. Certainly some uh, very powerful early game and mid-range cards. And there's another one, Reliquary of Souls. It's one cost, one three, life steal, death rattle. Oh, I'll fight Shuffle the prime into your deck. Yeah, Reliquary of Souls is, I mean, it's one mana, one three, so already it's like pretty good with you know, yep. a variety of buff cards. And oh, that's my god. And then once you get, you know, the prime out, then uh, that, can, that can be especially powerful. So it's Taunt, Lifesteal, and it's not the mechanic we've seen in the past with like the Fairy Dragon effect where you can't target it. That was kind of like a double-edged sword in Priest. Uh, I remember even from oh, way back like, when we were playing the 4-6 the uh, Death Knight card. Uh, Kiedyś. Targeted. It was one of the best arenas at the time, but it was actually not good at all for Priest. <laughs> while it would stabilize the board, you couldn't heal it and you just lose the board again. But this is not a double-edged sword. It's your opponent can't target. This is a world. You can, 
And I think that is that is an effect that people will at first, my guess, underestimate. That is a very powerful effect on a taunt lifesteal. Yeah, a lot of times, like these effects can be kind of frustrating when you're playing against them because your opponent is just keeps buffing them and you can't really interact with them in any way. Uh, but because this is, you have to play Reliquary of Souls and then it has to die. And Czyli mając ten spell Hunter za 10 many, kiedy przeciwnik ma pusty stół, sprawiamy, że 12 damage, 12 obrażeń leci prosto w mordę przeciwnika. No i jeszcze stawiasz 4 bestie, 3 na 5 na stół. All right, what else we got? Soul Mirror. So this is a new priest legendary spell. Seven cost, summon copies of enemy minions. They attack their copies. Yeah, this is one of my favorite cards, actually. It's like an interesting removal card for priest. This is like the Battlegrounds. Yeah, it, is, it is kind of like Battlegrounds, yeah. <laughs> Battlegrounds, the is this a segue card. to get people to play Battlegrounds from normal Hearthstone? Uh, it, it is not. I think it's just kind of an interesting card. I really like the art for this card as well. But uh, for the most part, if there's cards that are really threatening that you're playing against, then this card is just going to kill it, right? Like anything yeah. that has high attack is generally just going to die. And then anything that has low attack, well, you're they're going to smash into each other, but they're going to continue to survive. Yeah, for you. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Like whenever you play, it, it, can be, it can generate a board for you. So uh, yeah, maybe you can pair this yeah, on turn 10 with like the three mana Breath of the Infinite and. You, know, you get a bunch of cards and you you know finish theirs off, but based on the state of the opposing player's board, this removal card just plays a lot differently game to game. What I really like about this one is the fact that um, it's not one of those cards that's clearly really powerful, and you just like start every single priest deck by adding the card to the deck. So like you clearly can't play this in a in a resurrect based deck. It's a very powerful board clear, yeah. which is probably the most important effect in a res priest, but you can't really do this because if if you're adding like you know five or six you know zoo minions to to your res pool, it's just not gonna it's just not gonna work. So that's cool. You know, it's a, it's it's very powerful effect, but it has its cost. Yeah, like I said, it just plays a lot differently in different metas. You can imagine, like with you know, you're playing conjurers calling on mountain giants, then it's gonna kill all those and gonna fungus down as a removal card. And if you're playing it against like you know, old school Q block where there's a bunch of Void Lords, well, they're going to smash into each other and you're going to get a bunch of Void Lords off of it. So this plays a lot differently. Cool. Skeletal Dragon. Seven cost, four, nine taunt. At the end of your turn, add a dragon to your hand, presumably including itself in the card pool. So Correct. that can spiral out of control pretty nicely. The minion itself has very good stats. A nie, dobra, bo ja na początku zacząłem, że on ma 9-9 statystyki, tak mówię, no mało ich chyba, już totalnie, ale 4-9 jest tylko... Aha, okej. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Priest has Anne Reaver, and they have Breath of the Infinite, and they have pieces, but what they're really looking for is, you know, that density of dragons to kind of get them over the hump in terms of just, like, being able to put enough powerful dragons in their deck in order for that deck to work. Uh, and I think Skeletal Dragon is definitely one of those cards. Like, a 7 mana 4-9 is going to protect you, and it's also going to generate a bunch of resources. And if you can't kill it the first turn, then it's just going to be one of those cards that generates you all the resources that you need just in one package. Mm -hmm. I kind of see how this priest deck was actually supposed to win. We were supposed to get all of these new really powerful cards, but instead we drew stuff like Twilight Drakes when we had nothing left in our hand. Yeah, I think that it, it's, it's going to be about building your deck in the correct way, but also just like in most Hearthstone games, it's going to be about getting the right stuff at the right time and being yeah. able to make the right decision. All right, what else we got? We got some 100 cards after this. Oh, we got a neutral card. It's a six cost five six. It's once again a dragon. So this this year the dragons really rolling over into this year as well. Uh, there's tons of new dragons for a lot of the classes it seems. Uh, this is Dragon Maw Sky Stalker, and the Death Rattle gets a three four Dragon Rider. So it's kind of just like a strong it's body so with an, an after effect. It's a card you'd maybe imagine like a zoo deck, but it costs oh. six. So it's uh I don't know. It's a bit of a tricky card to place in a deck. I wonder which. Which deck actually had this inclusion? Was it the priest one or was it the? the I imagine it was the priest one, where the priest has a bunch of cards that say like, "Hey, if you're 
So it's going to have to fill its, fill its deck with dragons. Dragon hold and this is going to be this is going to be one of those cards. It's a lot like Cairn, a lot like Savannah High Main, just a little mm -hmm. little bit of a twist on it. I guess that's true. I mean, I was kind of looking at it as like, okay, it's all right. But then when you compare it to high main, you have more favorable stats for a priest. You have the dragon tag and the death rattle is about the same. Like you'd rather have a bigger minion in one rather than two small tokens as a priest versus a hunter. So actually, it's, this is this really is almost a neutral high main. This card is actually a lot stronger than it seems. Like if you're if you're taking advantage of the dragon effect on the card, then it can. Powerful, yeah. Na tym legendarnym Prime było napisane, że przeciwnik nie może go targetować, a ty możesz go targetować, ale chodzi tylko o czary. Dobra kontra na modloki. Uh, through, through a keen observation that I have about the last game that we played, uh, our hunter opponent played only beasts. Mm. This would have been pretty good. Yeah, it would have been pretty good because it seems pretty narrow when you look at it. The problem is that this is good, but only on the first two turns, because later beasts already have seven, seven, yeah. So it works pretty well. It works pretty well versus beasts. You know, at some point we're we're going to be making elemental decks and making pirate decks, and there's a lot of these archetypes that show up and become powerful. And this could be an interesting removal for for those types of decks. Mm -hmm. What are you really looking for in terms of the the quantity of cards hit with it? Like obviously, if you hit one, it's not that good. Obviously, you can hit one, right? Like it's three damage to a minion. Even if it has no type, you can still deal three damage to that minion, right? Yeah. So it's it's still it's still always going to have some usefulness in that regard. It's not great, but it's like playable. But if you hit two things. Is that good enough? If you deal three to two things, five cost, three, three body, it's like almost there, right? So you're probably yeah. looking to hit three things. And uh, I guess we'll have to see what the meta will be like. Uh, Ten Warden to taki... That's, uh, some, that's something you could do. To karta do każdego deku na starcie, to dat, yeah, bo wszyscy yeah. będą grali DH, w którym jest pełna demony. Toby Jr. becomes really popular, and they're filling the board with treants. Uh, like, that, that sort of stuff is going to be like... Okay. Uh, I like the Murloc decks, and it, it kind of just depends on what people are playing. What else we got? We really saw like very few cards from those decks, it seems. Oh, that's that's it on the list. All right. All right. Next match, I'm queuing up with Demon Hunter. Oh, Demon Hunter, it's the thing that you're excited for. So get hyped. Well, I, I don't know what's in this deck though. I'm mostly excited for the big demons, the big dormant demon push. That's that's okay. what I'm into. Well, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not I don't want to set you up for disappointment or anything, but I, I'm not really sure exactly what this is. My first time seeing it's one of Chucky's creations, but it doesn't look like it has big demons in it. Okay, so we got Chaos Strike, give your hero two attack and draw a card. That's probably pretty good if we're playing against a rogue. Good chance the rogue minions are pretty aggressive, so we can do something with that. The Raging Fell Screamer is actually one of my favorite cards in Demon Hunter across the board. Um, it's not just that like the next demon you play costs two less. That effect rolls on to whatever turns stawki? it happens that you play your next demon. You can play a demon ten turns later. Może poradnik? Jeden? Or you can play a Jedyś? demon the very next turn. Ale poradniki to raczej nie bardzo. On five. So that's huge. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna fish for a demon that I can play early. That, oh, okay. Our stick is gonna hold both of them. Alright, check this out. Turn one hero power. Wow! That's so power. So like power. Yeah, the rogue opponent on the other end is like, I can't do that. The next turn, he's, he's got to wait an entire turn to do that. Yes! Jeweler, Hanar. It's one he's of my not cards. prepared! The emote is there! Oh, man. Okay, what do we got? Okay, we got the Fell Summoner. So summon a random demon from your hand. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff that gets demons out in play. Okay. No demons, yeah. No demons. Oh. Shadow Jeweler Hanar awesome. is one of my favorite cards. It actually plays super, super well. Uh, yeah. It's kind of weird because normally you're used to seeing like Hunter and Maid Secrets as the powerful ones, but when you get cards off of uh, Hanar, uh, often what you're trying to look for is Paladin Secrets to kind of keep mm -hmm. triggering uh, what he's doing. So, And Paladin Secrets can, they're not really game swinging, but they can be just enough to keep Hanar alive and just keep going. So I can get rid of him with the Immolation Aura and a regular attack. Uh, it's, it's a rogue secret. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not sure what all the rogue secrets are right now, so I don't 
I don't know what will happen if I try to do that. What You're do you think? Is, is, is he a big enough threat to warrant an immolation aura? I think you should probably attack first. Because if you attack first and then don't get the attack in... Oh. Ow. Uh... Well, I can still kind of do that. I just have to commit to doing yeah. it again next turn. That seems kind of like a waste. But if I don't do that, I take 10 damage. I start the game at 13 health. That seems not as good, right? Yeah, I don't know if I'll take 10 damage. Yeah, I think you, you kind of have to get rid of it, yeah? Uh, okay, I guess. The effect is cool. All right. Still. Not prepared. It's fine. We'll get we'll get it we'll get a demon and it'll all work out probably maybe hopefully. Oh, oh maybe he, oh, so, one oh, cost oh, three one stealth. Wow, that's insane. The fuck? Okay. She's not gonna do this kind of comedy. Yeah, no, yeah, Pierre. Yeah, it's pretty good, but it's not as good versus. This. Okay, so that is a rogue secret. It might be the exact one that just triggered the previous turn where it it popped something that cost was it two more or something, or is it a random random minion? I kinda glanced by that first secret that triggered. Oh, bamboozle? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a random minion that costs three, 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 more. three more. You throw the card to Hall of Fame and Narcos two. Mm, uh, Priest does stay update. Hmm. Fine, let's discover a demon to see if it's actually worth playing those. Um, yeah. I I don't know. The Is our friend Norg Artificery is back? So you can take yeah, I don't, I don't really know if I want to take him, though. <laughs> but maybe not that good. Seder Herbicide is kind of okay. Yeah, uh, we, we can play we can play a Fell Screamer and the, and the Satyr Overseer and attack. Next, next round. Yeah, yeah, fine. Let's, let's try that. There we go. Od samego początku Blizzard. Hype about tą klasę. Pod trzy archetypy. Pod demony jako control, pod tokeny i pod pod trzy archetypy. Pod demony jako control, pod tokeny i pod walenie bronią w ryj. Więc nie wiem, o czym ty piszesz. Alright. <laughs> let's see what he's got. Ta klasa też nie jest I know, I've played a ton of Erwin Scorpion playtesting. Cool. Spoko. I kind of like the Spoko. flavor of it. Just kill something and goes back under the sand. So this is probably going to be when your thing is attacked, do stuff. Hmm, I, don't, I don't know, do we just want to go face? I think so. Yeah, I don't know if I want to play that. I probably want to play that. It's a bit too greedy not to. Yeah. Kind of sucks because Pit Commander would be pretty good next turn, but it's not going to be that crazy. Like you, you just need stuff on board at this point. Oh wait, is that going to transform now? Okay, we have to kill that. Wow. We are pretty low right now. Yeah, the the old bamboozle and no sacrifice combo got you. Yeah, can we like nerf that, please? <laughs> it's pretty good. I like Bamboozle. Uh, Bamboozle is one of those things that's going to make Demon Hunters take a lot of damage. Oh, am I dead? Oh, I'm dead. Okay. I got. I basically got the deck I was wanting to play, which was discounting and cheating out demons. And I just got my first big demon, and then he top decked the Viscerate after double bamboozling me. Would you say that game you just got bamboozled? I think it's probably the bamboozle. I think that is a fair statement. Yeah, Shadow, you got Shadow Dueler Hanard. Like I said, Hanard is one of my favorite cards. Uh, it's it's going to do a lot of things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. There's generally that deck doesn't play quite. That's like that. Don't you like Capsula? I have some games I can do. I can do. I think uh, Keaton was able to to get you with a couple of high damage attacks off of bamboozle. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was I, I basically attacked face with my hero power because I'm like, well, maybe he has eye for an eye because I was getting low on health. I didn't realize it'd be noble sacrifice into bamboozle into taking four on a must kill card. <laughs> mm, yes. 
It did not work out too well. All right, what do we miss? I'm sure we missed something. I mean, we, 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 we definitely much. missed a few things there. Oh, so. wait, that's the card we needed. Taunt Lifesteal. Where was that? Yeah, Taunt Lifesteal has been pretty bad. good in that scenario. What do you think of this card? This card really what? is pretty insanely powerful, right? I think it's pretty strong. I mean, people are like, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. It's not a small effect, let alone in a class that uses it. It's not a small effect. But I also want to point out just how good these decks are if we drew these cards. Like, wow. That would have been so good. If we stabilized with a card like exactly that one, we could have played that demon that was massive head taunt and constantly gets demons from our deck on top onto the board. Masz już zaplanowany jakiś budżet deck. Cursed Vagrant. It's a, it's a rogue card. So it's 7 for a 7 5, and when it dies, you get a 7 5 with. Tak, spell. pierwsze co robię, jak wychodzi nowy dodatek, to wow. planuję budżetowy deck. Bo to jest to, na co wszyscy czekają, nie? That's basically the death rattle effect of that card. Czemu przerzuciłeś się na streamowanie na Facebooku? Bo Facebook dał mi dużo pieniędzy. To później okazało się w sumie nie aż tak dużo, ale na, na moment podpisywania umowy było dużo. You know, buy Cursed Vagrant, but there's room, there's room in Hearthstone to make more powerful cards than Raven's Hold for Assassin. Okay, so it's good. Class cards, class cards are supposed to be stronger than non-class cards. All right, so we we know that much. It's fine. Just to put it in some perspective, it's quite a strong card. It's quite a strong effect. Rogue finally gets to do something sneaky. 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 Rogue finally gets to do something sneaky.
just recently unnerfed Sludge Slurper. So I guess we'll Back do that. Two, one. Yeah, one fours are usually pretty good against two ones. So I think we're 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 winning so far. Yeah, I think we want to stabilize and maybe save the coin for the faceless corruptor to take the push. I'm really Have appreciating the off meta the heroes. Lady it's Bob. Four cost. What's that? Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Let's talk about the new cards. I was admiring Lady. Yes, new cards. Oh, more new cards. Okay, your demons cost one less. Death rattle, shuffle. Kenrithod Prime into your deck. So we can play the Flame Imp for free. The Nightshade is a 4 5 5 rush, and the Battle Cry discard your highest cost card. Now, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> yeah, Kenrithod is it's one of the it's one of the cards that is a prime, but it it's just pretty good on its own. Like you, you don't really need to shuffle and, need it, right? and draw the next piece in order for that mm -hmm. card to get a ton of value. Like this is a pretty great turn for us there. Oh, okay, come cool, on. I don't know if I do. I want to kind of save the faceless corruptor or just like dunk everything. I think maybe I want to dunk everything because he's overloaded for one. He only has two mana right now, and two mana he can't do much to affect that board. I think. I imagine he's going to kill our legendary card here, freeze and invoke. Wow, that is a pretty powerful turn. We're playing. We're playing against some Galakrond Shaman. Let's see. So the the upgraded Prime here. It's an eight for a seven six, and the battle cry summons three friendly demons that died this game. That does not seem like a very powerful effect when most of the demons are pretty small. But maybe. Is it for that? Is it for the capital of the attack? Is it for which they're for the key days? Is it for the level? We'll have to see. I guess. Yeah, I mean the card on its own is just an eight mana seven six that summons three bodies. So even even if the demons are relatively small, then mm -hmm. you're in an okay space. So new spell card... here is Serpent Shrine Portal. It's a three cost shaman spell. Deal three damage and summon a random three cost minion with overload one. Pretty similar to the portals of old from I think. Uh, Karazhan, like Firelink Portal, now we have Serpent Shrine Portal over here. I'm going to try to just push here. <laughs> if he's constantly trying to beat us on the board, I want to just push back as hard as I can. Yeah, you're going to get some value from Expired Merchant here as well. Assuming you know, our opponent doesn't have like an Earth Shock or something. Okay. When you play or discard this, draw three cards. Okay, let's draw three cards. That's pretty good. <laughs> After you hear it takes damage, refresh two mana. Crystal. What the fuck wow. just happened? Yeah, this is going to be one of those cards that people are going to... People look at Dark Blair, and I think the immediate thing, at least from you know, the high-level players, is, okay, well, how can I take advantage of Dark Blair in order to you know, kill my opponent in one turn for some super insane combo? Or just hero power. Or just hero power, yeah. Yes. Well, I said super high level player. So for you, you know, it might be, you might just be thinking of hero power. Okay, Seriously? that is a little unfair because we're going to discard that again. And you're just going to have a, t a ton of, <laughs> you're going to have two more in your hand as well. <laughs> uh, okay. So th this was the this was the version of. Uh, Dobra, gdzie się włączał ustawkę? Szybko, daj się mi ustawkę. Tam widzę balans. In your hand plus two plus two. That seems a bit difficult to time, but it's powerful if you can time it properly. It's kind of those just big risk reward cards. Oh, okay. Okay, we're still in a little bit of trouble here. So if we play this and tap, we actually gain mana. Pretty nice. Let me take damage now. Not we, sure. We really want to take damage, but we yeah. we don't really have a way to do that. There's no way to discard either. I think we're just. 
fajn. Najlepiej really zdrajdować jednego, zagrać tego sempa i zagrać tego demona 2-2? A kij on tak kombinuje? Może trzeci head of Gul'dan. Podać ci pomocną dłoń? I'm gonna discover a lackey here. Two damage is good. Um. Perfectly executed. Look at that. It's as if I've been playing standard the whole time, all of my life. Are you impressed, uh, chat? Are you? You're, you're mostly a battleground streamer these days, so I'm I'm uh, I'm impressed by this level of play. Okay, well he had the Galakron, which is great for us because that's his last big push, right? Okay, um, let's get some lackeys out and play the big boy. There we go, prime it up. Yeah, here, like, the, the demons aren't that big. They're, like, you know, small to medium size, but that's mm. still, like, an insane power still swing. Good, yeah, still pretty good. Wait, right, you can do five damage Post now. Still gonna keep something up. Nope. Oh, I got it here, power. Just kidding, yeah. I forgot we were facing mm. Galcron. Ooh. We can set up for a power turn, but it's just, like, are you gonna have enough time to do that? No, I think we just have to play one and tap and hope we get something that is relevant this turn. Not bad. We can play one out. I only have 10 cards in our deck. We've actually been very aggressive at drawing through the hand of Gul'dans. I think if we survive for one of these dormant effects to actually trigger, we'll be just fine. But yeah, I don't I don't know if that's going to happen. It's it's not gonna happen through one giant power turn like we were expecting, but it, I don't know. I think even if it goes off on like two or three guys, it's still good enough. Maybe. Czekam stable. na jakiegoś big demon loka yeah, pod I mean, tego prima. Żaden samobójca nie stworzy deku pod tego prima. Ten prime może być dodatkiem do deku, a nie zapalnikiem, żeby tworzyć pod niego dek. Brother. Oh, I see. He's just trading to everything. If you cast the spell this turn, discover a spell. Three cost, three, four. Okay, pretty strong. Okay, we just tap again, see what we get. Five, one. Play it all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the five one's not great. It's just going to absorb a hero power, but that, that means that Kronks has to hit the three, five, I guess, which is fine. So oh, you got a spell, oh, discover a spell? spell? Last turn, discover a spell. Okay, so actually it didn't go off when he played it last turn, but it went off this turn because he played the freeze effect last turn. I see. So yeah. now I guess we want to kind of dodge a little bit of uh, some spell damage, area of effect type of card because we are going a bit wide and we kind of need to win off of this. Yeah, I think a lot of times elementals are... Just a big demon lock with the same win condition as the prime. Uh, so this kind of falls in line with that flavor. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. armor locks are going to get buffed. Wait, so... what's this? Felfin Navigator, 4 cost 4-4. Four, four. Do you want to create a deck, in which there are large demons? We can draw, we can draw three cards even for two. <laughs> I wish the condition to have one card. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Muszę przyznać, że nie wiem, co powiedzieć. Hmm. What to do? We're gonna, we're gonna go very much back into the game on this play. Yeah, I think the taunt is the thing that helps us the most. Keeps us out of range of anything crazy. I, I'm not so sure I agree with that. As I think what I want to do is end the game. And if yeah, I play, yeah, that's true. play this, like you can't go face with his hero power. If I play that and then draw a bunch of cards next round, we could potentially like, oh wait, we only have four cards left in our deck. So that draws a lot of cards. 
Eee, jak się budzi po dwóch turach, wiadomo, to bufuje wszystkie twoje demony w ręce. O, plus dwa, plus dwa. Fajne. Yeah, it's a little scary, but... A little scary, because we're kind out of out of cards right now. Kiedyś do Kubioka może byłoby grywalne. Nie. Really so... uh, so you don't really want to be soul fire. I guess you can soul fire into that and just draw the rest of your cards and see what happens. That's exactly what we're going to do. I'm glad we agreed on this. Uh, other soul fire is a little dicey. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's easy, easy play. Um, okay. I think you, you trade one and you get your lackeys, yeah? I don't, I don't know how to get those lackeys right now. You could kill the four six after you trade it. Or you could just kill the three three. No, you don't want to kill the three three because you want the three three to trade into his four three. I'm not trading into the four three. Well, I guess, yeah, because you can just leave it up. Oh wow, you just took the damage. That is... This is a pretty good game we have on our hands. Vase of Worms pretty good here. Keep that. Going in. You're, you're gonna play the, the one mana yeah. card? Yeah, because next turn we're all in. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, so... Oh, uh, you're dead, yeah? Yeah, you're dead. Have you taken one fatigue yet? Uh, no, I think we're just taking one fatigue. Oh, wow. What? That was pretty sick. Nerf? Nice. Get the nerf bat. <laughs> it's okay, you can honorably kill yourself. So that, it's, uh, you can okay. cast a soul fire, get the hand of Gul'dan, finish, your, finish yourself off. Back online. Here we go. <laughs> it was. Oh, that comes back. Okay, fine. Just get rid of it. Has to die again. Well, you drew a lot of cards through Hand of Gul'dan. Hand of Gul'dan, we've we've seen like the the power of it, and then also. Do końca zrozumiałeś. I love the art too. You're just saying that I didn't do końca zrozumiałem, and it's not that you don't know what's in the condition. Well, uh, I don't know if we missed some of the cards from our I think we did. Playing Galakron Shaman. We, we probably did, because most of the cards that I saw, except for one or two, were just the old Galakron Shaman. Right? I think we missed a couple cards. So we have Totemic we Reflection. One, yeah. Give minion plus two plus two, and if it's a totem, summon a copy of it. So if it's not a totem, that's not very good. So I guess you just really need to hit a totem with it. Yeah, and obviously, if you're playing uh, something which uh, you are, uh, it's a class card, then uh, uh, Ralt. Not. it's pretty easy to find yourself a totem with this card. You, you just hear a power. Yeah. If you have a totem already on the board, it's actually quite good. But if you don't, it's basically five mana, like two, two fours with an effect. That's okay. It can be okay, yeah, especially if it's a taunt totem. Mm -hmm. But I think if you have a, a totem that can attack, Particularly in like a scrappy zoo game, it's actually very strong. Uh, yeah. And that's unless we get more cards or totems and actual cards, like totem golem related things. That that would obviously be completely insane. Yeah, also pretty good if we get that. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? Oh, that's it. That's just the one. So I guess uh, I guess what we're gonna do is get Chris back in here and uh, wrap this oh, up hey. for you guys. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, so, how's it going? gentlemen. Games. We played games. How did it go? Some, <laughs> that hunter game was so quick. I was just like watching off to the side and was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, hunter, hunter can do that. Hunter is pretty aggressive. Uh, Tundra Rider is pretty aggressive. So Hunter can, can kill their opponents pretty quickly. That's kind of in their, in their, uh, the, their style of play. We saw the, the cards revealed afterwards, and there was one that does three to a minion, and then again to each minion of that type or that tribe. And like every card he played was a beast. We just it needed to draw good. one of those and probably could would have, have blown good. them yeah, out. Yeah, Waste Warden could have been good versus that deck. Just a little. Uh, Mr. Crip, any particular like decks or cards that you noticed from this out of the 40 that we that you're like, 
dude. This looks pretty rad. This looks like uh, something I may need to play on day one. Um, uh, even though the spell mage kind of got destroyed by the control warrior, that might just be a thing with matchups. Uh, I am pretty excited to play that type of deck. Um, it's, I feel it's 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 the extreme version of what a lot of us have been wanting to play, where a lot of us want to play these like spell slinger mage decks, but you just have to play some minions. Well, it seems like we're at the point where not only do you not have to play minions, you're actually rewarded for not playing minions. So I'm kind of excited to try that. Yeah. No, well, it's pretty cool, too. I know I saw some folks on Reddit to chatting about, like, Priest and Warrior in particular. I know with, with Slissa's card reveal the other day, she was like, hey, we haven't seen a lot of the Warrior cards. And for both of those classes, we saw 10 cards each. And so uh, hopefully everybody at home has a chance to, uh, you know, get a little bit more understanding of the, the power of those classes and just some things that they can theory craft and decks that they can take a look at and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Pretty awesome gameplay so far, I would say so myself. Uh, gentlemen, before we, we close it out, did you have anything that you wanted to add or say or plug? No, looking forward to playing. Uh, obviously, us streamers will do our best to stream as much Hearthstone as possible with the pretty aggressive release schedule that Chris has introduced to you guys uh, some time ago. So hype it up. Come and watch us, please. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll do our best to highlight the best parts of the upcoming content. Yeah, we're just really excited to hear a bunch of the feedback for Demon Hunter. Uh, as I talked about a little bit earlier, uh, designing new class is really difficult. And we, you know, there's tons and tons of cards out there that are brand new. So we're really looking forward to hearing all the feedback. If there's any changes that we need to make. Um, you know, the new rank system is going to go live pretty soon. So it's a good time to kind of come back and get in there uh, and see some progression, get some new rewards. Uh, we're giving away tons and tons of Demon Hunter cards if that's something that really appeals to you. So it's a good reason to come back for that. Um, but outside of that, there's just tons and tons more coming. It's not just this expansion. It's not just Demon Hunter. We've got more stuff coming throughout the year. Uh, if you're a Battlegrounds player, we've got new stuff that's coming for you. Um, so there's all kinds of stuff that's going to be coming in 17.2, 17.4, you know, different patches. So uh, we're excited for this year. We've got tons of stuff coming. Tons of stuff. Yeah, it's going to be good. And and speaking of, if we could, just want to recap those dates real quick for everybody at home. Uh, again, I know there's a barrage of information coming uh, at you, not only from this stream, but in general. So again, March 26th, that is tomorrow. Uh, we've also got our Theory Crafting live streams featuring the one and only Kriparian, who you saw here, uh, and many others happening, along with our Priest update and the uh, Hall of Fame and the Duplicate Protection. Again, April 1st is the revamp of our rank system like Dean just talked about. April 2nd is the Demon Hunter Prologue, which will allow you to unlock Demon Hunter, which will then be playable on April 7th along with Ashes of Outland. So a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. Uh, we on the Hearthstone team are super, super jazzed uh, to, to get this out the door. I know the, the team, Dean and his team, have been working on Demon Hunter for a super long time and are just super excited to get it out the door. Uh, so we hope you all at home are just as excited as we are, uh, just as excited as the great uh, community dad of Kriparian is. And uh, yeah, from all of us on the Hearthstone team, much love. And uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll, we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Take it easy. Pamiętajcie, że już za dwa dni będzie można zagrać Nowym dodatkiem i Demon Hunterem O ile jesteście mną, bo jak jest, nie jesteście to nie będziecie mogli zagrać, ale ja będę mógł Dlatego w piątek od 18 do 24 będę wypróbowywał nowy dodatek na streamie Bo dostałem dostęp i będę grał, Uhu! Zapraszam